Cortisol is the primary stress hormone. Thousands of years ago, when you were being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, your body would produce a stress response. These chemicals would maintain blood pressure, boost your energy, get your heart rate up, surge your blood to where you needed it to survive, and then you could fight the tiger or run away. When the danger was over, your body would return to normal. All of that is good. But if you're stuck in a traffic jam, or you're dealing with a project deadline, or you're facing a stack of bills, those are situations where you can't have that rapid action response. Instead, your body's exposed to high cortisol levels for hours, days, even weeks. And that's where it's very bad. There are even situations that raise our cortisol levels that you may not even think of automatically, like running a marathon or excessive training for any sport. Even though you're expending a lot of energy, your body's under a lot of stress and will keep producing cortisol not only throughout the marathon, but it will keep producing it long after the race is over. And then there are even situations that you wouldn't necessarily think of as stressors at all. It's been shown in several studies now that if you get less than eight hours of sleep, you're almost in a pre-diabetic state. That's because when you don't get enough sleep, your body perceives that as a threat and reacts by producing high levels of cortisol throughout the day. Dieting is even perceived by the body as a stress. There's a huge body of scientific literature that shows that chronically elevated levels of cortisol, cortisol that is elevated over days and weeks and months and years, is associated with a wide range of health problems. Things like obesity, diabetes, chronic fatigue, high blood pressure, heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, stroke, osteoporosis, memory and learning impairment, impaired immune response, thin hair, dry skin, accelerated growth of breast and prostate cancer cells, even the libido suffers. We may not have saber-toothed tigers chasing us any longer, but don't kid yourself, it's still a jungle out there.